Good evening, everyone, and Happy New Year. On behalf of the Consumer Electronics Association and its board of directors, I'd like to welcome you to the pre-show keynote for the 2013 International CES. You know, for over a dozen years, right here at CES on this stage, the world's largest innovation event, this special evening slot, the pre-show keynote, has had only two people featured, Bill Gates and Steve Ballmer. Well, tonight, we turn from Microsoft to another great company, one also helping innovate and drive the consumer electronics industry. We welcome Dr. Paul Jacobs back to our stage to give us an inside view into some of the things that Qualcomm is doing to drive the evolution of mobile technology. Mobile is transforming the whole world and the expansion of connected devices is opening up tremendous business, social, and educational opportunities. Global mobile revenues are estimated to reach $1.5 trillion. And that was last year, it'll even be more this year. And that is about 2% of total GDP in the world. And more and more technology companies are embracing mobile to create new types of connected devices and services. The momentum is absolutely incredible. And Dr. Jacobs is a key player in fueling this momentum. Since earning his doctorate at UC Berkeley, he's been on the forefront of creating mobile breakthroughs. He has spearheaded the development of one of the first smartphones. And he's advocated for the inclusion of GPS in the mobile phone. He was among the very first to recognize the importance of having internet connectivity in all mobile devices. And amazingly enough, he has earned more than 40 patents along the way. His list of awards is so long that we spend the rest of the night talking about it. Suffice it to say that he has earned a distinction as a visionary leader in the field of mobile. You might say he was born mobile. Now let's take a look at what that means. a techie, but if there's one thing I know well, it's my phone. It's not just about making calls, it's about serious stuff like texting and liking and Skyping and of course personalizing. I have a lot of friends and I need to let them know what's up with me because if I'm not posting, then it's like I don't even exist. Ooh, which reminds me, Ryan has got to see this. <laughs> I'm part of a new generation. When I'm away, I'm still in touch because people need to know where I'm at. And I'm sending the word out to you, you, and you. We're born mobile. It's our world, our way, or my way. Uh, okay, okay, we get it. You're popular. And who are you? Well, I'm John, but better known by Tornado. Tornado 92. I'm world famous. Okay, well, I'm a tournament champion in China. I'm a threat all over Europe. And I just pwned half the world from backstage. So eat it, Volcano Mom 53. Ooh! Okay, I know what you're thinking. He's a gamer. He's antisocial. He uh, probably eats junk food and speaks Wookiee. But here's the deal. I don't live in my parents' basement. I'm not allergic to the sun, as you can tell by my flawless complexion. Oh, and I have a sweet job and a hot girlfriend. And by hot, I mean like, fuego! See, it doesn't matter where I am. The world is my playground. I could be in, in Canada or, or Kazakhstan or Antarctica. I, I, could, I will play whoever, wherever. I'm always dodging it. Ooh. See. I'm a part of this new generation too, because I'm a new breed of gamer. 
We're born mobile. We have the entire world in the palm of our hands. It's right there at our fingertips. So game on. Wait, wait, wait. So you're saying you're a Tornado 92. Oh, yeah, baby. I played you before. You're not bad. Not bad, dude. You want a rematch, you let me know. OMG, I'm surrounded by geeks. Thousands of them. You know what? Us entrepreneurs in the real world, we're superheroes in our own ways, right? Boom. <laughs> my phone is my conference room. It's my guide. It helps me to move mountains. It's my vacation planner. Heads up. <laughs> and it's on my own personal playlist. But most importantly, we're partners. And together, we're coming up with the next billion dollar idea. Check this out. Imagine funny cat videos meets Gangnam Style. Boom. Right? <laughs> yeah, like I'm gonna give you my billion dollar idea. Come back next year, maybe you'll be able to check it out. Together, we're born mobile. And I'm commanding my world the new way. The geek way? <laughs> can you dig it? Dude, yes, I can dig it. <laughs> We're all over the place. Everywhere you look, billions of us and counting. Dude, like, oh man, it's like, it's like we're more empowered, we're more connected than any other generation in the history of man. Dude, it's like, it's like we've evolved. We're like modern nomads. Hey guys, chill. No, I can't chill because these days you gotta be mobile if you want to be a top dog or a tough ass warrior or super popular <laughs> or a CEO. Ladies and gentlemen, Qualcomm Chairman and CEO, Dr. Paul Jenkins. So, Paul, welcome back to the stage of CES. Thanks, Garrett. It's awesome to be back here. So, uh... What do you think? Were you born mobile? Well, honestly, Paul, not exactly. Um, but my do baby Max is definitely part of the new generation of mobile natives. So uh, you're pretty sure he's not going to know a world without mobile then. True. But so tell me, what is in store for him? That's kind of what we're here to talk about tonight. OK, well, I guess I'll get mobile, and you can get started. Sounds Break good. Take it easy. All right, everybody, good evening. Fired up to be here tonight. I mean, this is the first time a mobile company's opened the Consumer Electronics Show. Now, of course, Qualcomm's not a traditional consumer electronics company. I mean, obviously, we don't make TVs or stereos or game consoles, but we are at the heart of mobile devices and a growing number of connected consumer electronics products that are at the center of everything you do. It's kind of amazing if you think about it right now. There's more than 6.4 billion mobile connections worldwide. That's almost as many mobile connections as there are people on Earth. Pretty soon, the mobile connections are going to outnumber us outnumber us. So if you think about it, almost a million new smartphone users are added every single day. That's more than double the number of babies born worldwide. And mobile is fueling economic growth, it's transforming industries, and it's really redefining the way that we live. So you know, we went out and we asked some folks, what does it mean to them to be born mobile? What does it mean to be born mobile? Born, born mobile? mobile? Being born on the way to the hospital. Somebody born in the age of mobile devices or like something else. I started running in the beginning of high school. Just kind of you get out there, run. You kind of guess how, how long it was. Yeah, maybe it was eight miles. Now I'm in college, and every time I go on a run, I throw my GPS watch. I know exactly how far I ran. I do like big metal public art sculpture stuff. I got contacted for doing a sculpture symposium in South Korea. I have an app for the 3D software I use. I can just email that off to a 3D printer. And I built this 20 foot long, 12 foot tall, two ton stainless steel sculpture. The same process that took me a month and a half took me about three days. It's like I've get like 10 careers out of one career. My goddaughter, 
I've seen her three times in my life, but I've watched her grow through a screen six, seven thousand miles away just through video chatting. With my mom's phone, I just like look at pictures and just has a camera and you go like, I started a company called Dog for Dog to help as many dogs as we can in need. These dogs that tend to be in rescue groups are escape artists. We're able to track them with GPS devices on their collars. We see our office maybe once a week. Other than that, it's all mobile. I'm kind of at a hard time because I've just gone to a new school. I don't think we'd still be friends now if we couldn't connect. They can be halfway across the world. He lives in um, India, like China, Indonesia. I have a grandson in Seattle. My name's Aryan Simhadri, and I'm six years old. I'm 21 years old. 47 years old. I'm 32. Years old. And I'm five. Every generation is now born mobile. Born mobile generation. Born mobile is the generation I'm in. And I don't know if people are going to look back at our time and just say, those were the pioneers. They were right on the cusp. The beginning. The brink of, of something, something amazing. crazy awesome. It's a hell of a generation. Let's make this better. Let's make it faster. Pop, 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 pop. Born mobile means like when you grow up, you actually connect to your people, talk to your people. You actually connect to them in mobile. So it doesn't really matter where or when you were born, where you live. We're really all part of what we're calling Gen M now, the born mobile generation. Why? Because we've all really come to expect and actually even to demand powerful devices with always on access to the world's information in the palm of our hands. And I don't know about you, I really can't imagine life any other way. I mean, 84% of people say they can't go a single day without mobile. Seriously, I, I can't. I, any of you guys, can you? I don't think so. I mean, Qualcomm, that's a company that was definitely born mobile. We've been pushing the boundaries of what's possible in wireless for 27 years now. Today, we're the number one supplier of wireless chips and the leading inventor of wireless technologies. We've shipped over 11 billion chips in our history. And if you're using a 3G or a 4G device, that's Qualcomm technology in your pocket, in your purse, in your briefcase, and in your home. Now, people all around the world are staying connected to each other, to the internet, and to all their entertainment and information. And thanks to that, mobile is the largest technology platform in human history. And now, smartphones replace the PC as the largest computing platform. I mean, analysts are projecting that five billion smartphones will be sold between 2012 and 2016. And mobile's really redefining the way we think about computing. I mean, consumers want the same types of experiences that they get on their smartphones extended to other devices. If you think about it, for many people, particularly in developing regions, their first and only computing device is their smartphone. And for hundreds of millions who may not be able to afford a computer, it's really the only device they're ever going to use to access the internet. I mean, for example, today, more smartphones are being sold in China than in any other country. So mobile's opening up new possibilities for people. It's breaking down barriers, it's bridging the digital divide, and Qualcomm's Snapdragon processors are leading the way, powering this new mobile world. Our Snapdragon is really built from the ground up for mobile. I mean, we develop our own CPU, our own graphics processing unit and multimedia, our own modem and connectivity technology, and our own positioning and sensor solutions. Then we put them together into a single highly integrated chip and we meticulously optimize the hardware and the software to deliver the best experiences. So now, thanks to Snapdragon's jaw-dropping speeds, smooth graphics and multimedia and best-in-class battery life, it really is the chipset of choice for most smartphone makers. Qualcomm currently powers more than 500 devices, and there's more than 400 new models in design. Now, this chip industry, it is highly competitive. But we have the advantage of being mobile natives, and we have been since day one. 
And we're continually creating new breakthroughs, which lead to amazing new products. 